I remember when the gay community, they were calling themselves 5%. 5%. That is approximately 20 years ago. Now I hear they are 10%. But that's just <clears throat> on the surface. I believe if we were, we were to go beneath the surface, we would discover that the gay community, LGBTQIA2SS, yes, we would discover that it's a lot more than merely 10%. You know, I just, first of all, uh, the big the big news is that Kevin Kitten Heels Samuels has passed away, passed on. He's gone. Bye bye. I don't know. Allegedly. Because you see, I mean, I was listening to. Oh, this is your boy. I forget his name. I'm really bad. I'm so sorry. I have to write these things down. I'm, I'm the worst for doing that, but I follow him. Okay. At least I subscribed. So when I talk about these people, I have actually subscribed to them. I just take it for granted that they're in my in my feed and that they will pop up and I will watch them again and like their, you know, content again and again. Uh, it's subscribed. And so, uh, new, new Breed, I think that's his name. New Breed! <laughs> so he was talking about Kevin Kittenheel Samuels passing and... He played a clip, man. I was, you know, I, I'd heard some bits and pieces here and there of Kevin, and I, I just was not. I was appreciating what Kevin's message was. I agreed with much of what Kevin was saying. What I did not, I didn't want to deal with it. W what he was doing, he was debasing, he was degrading, he was belittling. He was shaming. He he was doing the most to these women who were clueless. So he was bullying as far as, far as I'm concerned. Because those that he was talking to, addressing... First of all, anybody would, who would call him in the first place is already vibrating on a lower level. Okay? So there are certain women who would never even bother with that guy. That guy was on a power trip. He was pandering to these disgruntled males who have been dealing with with silly itches and o's that of their choosing they chose these particular females as they call them and when things don't work out because they didn't take the time to get to know the whole they didn't take the time to get to know the biage no they just bumped genitals they just clapped that those cheeks smack that ass or smash that that's all they did they never chose to go deeper they were very shallow superficial surface surface oh she's good looking oh she's she's a baddie she looks bad oh she's got the body she's got the face she's got the hair she got everything right and she's got the enthusiasm because you know y'all are there to get your egos boosted and you're getting yourselves stroked in many different ways until it all falls apart because this shit never lasts because you're all putting on a front you're all fake you're all acting and when your true selves come forth when your true selves are presented then everything crash and then suddenly you hate each other you are both at fault but now you are caught in this gender war you know the the male versus the female you're both useless to us okay and we should not spend any time Entertain, or even if no, but people again, low vibrational beings following this shit, right? This guy berating and lowering, you know, he's choosing these young people and somehow even older it's women, just women, though, black women, only black women, and he's going after them, knowing full and well that they are from that level, and this is not what they actually needed. But that's what he gave to them because all of the other black males who are paid, they, many as incels, they are, but they are most like misogynists. And there's a hatred that they have because they have issues with their mothers that are unresolved. 
and you know all women all black women are a target for their ire and so the clip that new breed played said and i quote i'm going to hell i'm going straight to hell and i'm and and all and you all no i am going to hell and you are all joining me kevin kittenheels samuel said and i quote I am going to hell and you are all joining me. Now, those are not my words. I'm quoting this this guy who passed away. I don't know when he when that that was recorded. I don't know when that was spoken, but New Breed had has the recording. If you go and you subscribe to New Breed, listen to New Breed and uh, follow New Breed and you know, you'll hear that and and much more. That is of great value to the listener. Okay. Speaking of new breed, I don't know that they're new breed. It's just that they are now emboldened to come out, but not really come out. You see, they want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to be involved with women. They want to have girlfriends and wives and babies with these women. And they want to continue to have sex with men. So this Dominican woman from the Dominican Republic, she has like a two-year-old child, two or three-year-old child in her arms, and she's addressing her man. Well, is it her man? No, he's a man's man. He is in the, at, at 2 p.m., sunny, outside of there where they, they're dwelling, the building they live in, their apartment, the guy is out there in broad daylight having sex with another man in the front seat. His pants are all the way down. You can only imagine what the hell they were doing. Supposedly he's drunk, but at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, wow, you're drunk and you're having sex in front of the building where you're, you're, the woman you are with and have child with, she lives. And Like, we are supposed to put up with all this shit, right? We're supposed to just, like, be submissive and accept this crap from these rashy with a t males we are supposed to accept all the shit they're doing and bring us diseases infections demons sexually transmitted diseases hmm? and this 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 you know he, you know as an older woman i'm considered leftovers and <laughs> let me tell you something i'd rather be leftovers here talking about this thing this thing, who passed away, supposedly, allegedly, I don't know, and he said, and I quote, I am going to hell, and you are all joining me. And I say, hell no, I, I ain't, I won't, I never followed you, I never listened to your program, I had bits and pieces of things you said, I heard little clip of you saying this shit, and I said, this is not for me. This guy is on a demonic path. This guy is here stirring the pot. He is a part of the agenda to destroy black community, black family. Um, he, he's trying to pretend to be putting you together, but you know, this is not the way to do it. This is not the way to do it. He was creating controversy. He loved being this, you know, making a spectacle of the those females as they are referred to by these incels and misogynists. <clears throat> and... He was enjoying it. He was enjoying every minute of it. But I heard so much about this guy. And I don't have to say anything about this guy. Because all the information is there for you to go seek, find, research. It's all out there. But him saying that he's going to hell and you're, you are all joining him. You're damn right. You are. Those of you who support this mindset. Those of you who support this guy degrading downgrading these you guys are so weak you know that these women are like they're low they, they they really have not advanced much in life they've probably never left their their, their state where they were born and, and raised they they've not really experienced much except to be sexually involved with dusties sexually involved with niggas the hood boys the hood rats that's a lot of them that's what they know and that's a, a caliber a level to which they become accustomed and their counterparts 
are hating them because the counterparts are discovering, hey, there are other women and we can. Well, they've been doing a lot of divesting, right? The the black women have been because they've had no choice. Because these black guys are just coming out and, and you know, saying a lot of shit. And I, I will agree with some of the shit they're saying because these black women is in the U.S. and not just in the U.S., these black women I just um, I'm observing putting their shit out there. They this is not the way for us to be um, growing and and to be raising children. Uh, I I am so afraid for the children when I see the behavior of the mothers and the fathers. It's embarrassing. What do you think the children are gonna learn from being in these? atmosphere in this these environments of um, there's no absolutely no love all they know all the black people know and forth they know lust they know effing they know clapping cheeks they know you know beating up the pussy and and everything to them most things sexually related otherwise or money it's just a very narrow um scope their lenses, they, they need to expand, they need to grow and learn and develop much more before getting so involved in bumping genitals and never getting to know each other. Uh, no, we have to do better and Kevin, Kevin Kittenheel Samuels was not better. He was bring he was making it worse because he was stirring the pot. He was creating divisions and hostilities. There are so many young black and o young and older black males who are going out with this venom for women. Women perhaps who have rejected them in the past, didn't find them too attractive, turned them down in favor of another guy that they thought was better. And the guys are bitter. And I understand even that some black women can be really nasty, mean, uh, and uh, I, I listen. I, I'm a black woman, and I have to speak on on that. Just based on the way I'm treated on social media for speaking truthfully, um, I don't have much of a following for that very reason. I did not. I I could have chosen a group for whom to pander. I could have. I could have pandered to the. Imagine if I had pandered to the to the gays. To the alphabet community imagine how much more of a following i'd have because i had all these people as friends and acquaintances but when i observed i experienced i was raped i couldn't come out and and say anything other than the the truth of what happened to me and then they hate you for that because you're exposing them same as the black women hate me because i sometimes will talk about the shit they do they're doing shit all the time and even for instance them rejoicing at the death of this Kevin, I don't think that's right. I don't think so. I don't think it's right for people. You know, you, you can silently, you know, may, maybe revel inside or something, but that's shit, you're, you're shit to deal with down the road because everybody is doing that which causes this or that outcome in your life. You can choose to be loving and kind. You can choose to be mean-spirited, cruel, cold-hearted, and just nasty. And that's what I see a lot of black women are. That's how they've treated me. These black women befriend me. They, they, will, they send me friend requests. I don't send these, these women friend requests because I know they are not nice, pleasant people for the most part. They're real nasty, a lot of them. Especially the African Americans, they figure out I'm not African American. I'm from the Caribbean. Oh my God, they can't stand me. Okay, so I know that, and it's it it really pains me because this there are many their presence is large. It's African Americans from all walks of life, and that there is the point to put all, to for him to be talking as though all the black women are the same and they are this. You see, picking on that group, that group, but not. Not uh, acknowledging that they are a group, a subgroup. They are not the entire, you know, the entirety of black womanhood. 
there are some black chicks that you all used to mix and mingle with, you grew up around, and they're not measuring up, possibly due to the environment. But for some reason, you have some problem with them. Listen, I have issues. Uh, I don't have issues with people. The people have issues with me. And when I notice they do, I just take myself away from them. I don't stick around and fight with them or try to, um, I don't try to antagonize and bring hostility. I do speak my mind when warranted and I move on. I never engage in a back and forth. I'm not into argument. argument. I just say what I have to say. I said what I said and I'm done. And that's it. And I won't return. Because some people are just there to fight because they have nothing better to do. Kevin, Kevin could have been... To me, a, a, an asset to black people. Instead, he chose to be what he was. A bully. And a down low gay dude. I heard he was actually, he was in the company of a transgender sex worker when all this, when he croaked. <laughs> I don't know, listen. Allegedly, right? He, I, that's what I heard. I wasn't there. Clearly, obviously, I wasn't there. But... This is what they're saying who he was with. Because people were like, oh, was he alone? Was he alone with his cats? And he... No, apparently he was with a transgender hooker. Ah, allegedly. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, comment or not. It's all good. I'm Domina Della Pai, Mistress Sasha Storm. Oh, yes. So this Dominican guy, right? He's having sex in a jeep in front of the building where he lives with the mother of his child. The woman comes out and... I don't know, I don't know if some, well, she knows the Jeep, right? So she walks up, she walks up and there they are in bright daylight, 2 p.m. Having sex, pants down and everything. And the woman said, she says, I'm not mad at the gay man. The gay man is out. Everybody knows that's a gay man. I'm not mad at him. It's this guy who is pretending by being with me and having uh, sex with me and having baby with me and living with me. He's wearing a pink shirt. Take note, okay? Because a lot of these guys lately, right? I, I, I've been like, why are you wearing pink? I, and I know, I know. Because you see, they're trying to change everything. I used to work as a florist. And when we send bouquets for the birth of a child, it's a boy! We selected, or we were told to select, blue flowers for boy bouquets and boy uh, floral arrangements. You choose. They, they would even take white carnations and spray paint them, dye them blue. Okay? So we would put blues and purples with yellows and whites. Sometimes add some red. That was for the boys. For the girls, it was always pink. Pink, white, shades of like lilac purples beautiful beautiful but it was distinctly blue for boy pink for girl suddenly all these guys are wearing pink and if you notice something about them they're the ones who tend to be like a certain build and they 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 they, they you know they they are into their, their their how they look they're superficial shallow right they love pink why because they got a little sugar in them right and lately, have you noticed lately what they're doing to the black male? Because I ain't seeing too many white men walking around with red shoes. But suddenly all these black guys in the U.S., I see it in Atlanta, a lot of television and, and internet programming skits coming out and they're showing these black guys and so many of them are wearing red shoes, you'd think they were the damn Pope. Hmm? The Pope. Do you know what is the significance of red shoes? Go and do the research on that. The significance. First he started out that it was the color of whoredom. Prostitutes, harlots wore red. But then I said, if that's the case, then why is the Pope in red? And why are all these guys, all these cardinals, bishops, they wear red, these red, the red shoes? When I was a child, I had a pair of shoes I loved. They were ballet flats. But they were not ballet flats, ballet flats. They were in that style and they were patent leather and they were red i used to wear them with this red mini skirt because i had the great legs still do and um 
I really love that. You know why I liked red so much? Because I had been told through astrology that as a ram, Aries, Mars being my planet in quotes, and as a dragon in the uh, East, uh, Chinese zodiac, well, the dragon, there are different colored dragons, but the most significant is the red dragon. So I adopted that as my color. So with teams, if I were going to be on a team, I would always choose, or if there's a, a sporting event on TV, when I used to watch TV, I would choose the red side. I would always choose, see how we are programmed. It's programming. Everything is programming. We not even thinking for ourselves. I realize that red is not my favorite color. I like it, but it's not my favorite. I have many, and I never choose a favorite. Because in the garden, there is abundance. And when there is abundance, you can have many different preferences, likes. You can like variety, right? So many mangoes, right? Some, oh, I, I like this mango. I'm like, really? There are so many different mangoes. Oh, have you even tried them all to know? They're not all the same. You know, you, you try something different. And you'll find that you may like it a little more. Instead of just going by what you've been societally conditioned to choose. If you're gay, be gay and get the hell out of the closet. But don't hold on to a woman. Because most women don't appreciate the idea of you going and sucking dick and taking dick. And you are a dick yourself. It's just not how we... Mm -mm, no, no. There are, there are, those, there, there are some pe women who actually love that. Get off on that. Because they are bisexual or bicurious as well. And that's okay too. But don't come and taint us. That's what I'm saying, right? If you want to do the dicks, don't do it on the down low, guys. Stop doing down low dicking. And I would say that to Kevin Kittenhill Samuels if he was here today. Because I saw a video where Kevin had a whole man. They say, the Americans, African Americans say he, he had a whole man. It's like, oh. As opposed to what? Half a man. He just have the penis. He just have the booty. Like, where? Isn't he supposed to have a whole man? Yes, this big black man who appeared to be in the middle age. He was in the bed with with uh, kitten heels. And there was a glitch. Suddenly, it wasn't supposed to reveal that guy there. Or was it? Right? Was he even real? Or was he just sent here to, like the devil, to create chaos, discord, and animosity amongst the black people, especially the gender war, stirring it, stirring it, flame, fanning the flame. And he's left, and they are still fighting over him. And I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Black people, you have to get out of the state of arrested development. Realize we have to grow beyond where we are like stunted, stagnant, rise above it, and stop looking for a savior, stop looking for a savior, Kevin Samuels was no savior, he was inviting you, knowing that he is going straight to hell, by his actions, his words, and his deeds, and allegedly that's where he is now, he, inv he said, you are all he, he expect when he's going to hell, you're coming. You're going to be there with him. Oh, no, not, not I. Not I, said Pi. Not me. No, no, not me and not mine. Because I never followed that way. I follow, hey, they say Yahweh. I say the most high, the only way. Source. Thank you. Good day.